Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather, for anybody that doesn't know who I am. Um, I am Heather with the Denture Diva-ish weirdness going on. I am from New York, and I talk about autoimmune dentures, life sucking. Every <laughs> I talk about every single thing you could possibly think of. Um, by the time you guys actually see this, it'll be the day after I make it. So I actually made this on 4th of July. So I'm going to say, but happy 4th of July, and I do hope that your guys' 4th of July was great. Um, I actually went kayaking. I'm going to throw a picture in here so you guys can see. I went with one of my friends that I used to work with and whatever, and um, my kids were at their father's, so they didn't go this time, but we will take them this time, uh, next time. But man, was it crowded. Okay, anyway, before I get started into my own little tangent, um, I will be doing a video based on, please do not over adjust your dentures. I'm going to try not to curse this video. We're going to work on it. But also, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like if you like my videos. Share it to somebody you know who's going through the journey or save it in your own little thing um, to look back on later. Because I actually do that with a lot of people because my memory sucks. So it's best if I save things because they'd be like, oh, that's easy to remember. And then when that happens, I'm like, are you kidding me? I forgot. But anyway, click on the tiny little bell button, guys. The bell button. Bell button. And click all because if you don't do that, you're going to miss my giveaways, my pop-up giveaways, my informational videos. You're going to miss me being crazy. You're missing everything, guys. Subscribe and click the bell. Click all. And you get me. I do videos every single day. There might be a random day where I don't, but I do videos every day. Um... I did do them like maybe twice a week at one point, but then I was like, hey, it's more fun to talk to myself. So I decided to do more. And I figured since quarantine's going to be up or is up or might happen again, I don't know. Do any of us really do? So I figured, you know, people are going to be start doing more procedures and stuff. So you might want to know about stuff. So over adjusting your dentures. Stop it. <laughs> I love how I start my videos. Stop. Stop. Okay, I understand when you're a noob, because I'm only six months in, so technically I'm considered a ish noob. That's what I like to call myself, an ish noob. Um, but, or a noob-ish. Eh, whatever. But every time you feel pain, you're going to be like, oh, fix this, oh, fix this, oh, fix Stop. You're making your denture bigger. The, it, when the, you first get dentures, it will hurt. You're not alone. It sucks. Your gums are soft. They're sensitive. You have something hard. Inside your face, you have a hockey puck, and it's going to hurt. I, I swear to you, on everything that I love, it gets better. You have to kind of stick it out for the first two weeks, um, as far as pain goes. And it gets so better beyond that. I'm sure people watching this, if they want to comment below and tell the people that are about to get this done or getting this done, that it does get better. If it didn't get better, nobody would get this done. So I swear to you, it does get better. But here's the problem. Now, I knew beginning of my journey, I was part of the dentist support group site, which I still am, and they even told me, watch out for over-adjusting. The only parts you need to seriously worry about are when you feel it into your bone and in your nose. If that's the case, then you want to take off a very little, guys. Very little. Um, because the more adjustments you do, the bigger your denture gets. So please understand that. Um, also, too, when you your gums shrink, like it... The first month, okay, first of all, the first six months, because my dentures are like, they don't fit at all. So I have to do my own soft lines and adhesive and they're fine. But they loosen rapidly, like rapidly. Like it could be tight in that spot and you have a mouth sore. Four days later, mouth sore will be gone. That spot's loose. I I'm not even playing with you. That's exactly how it happens. And so you need to realize, unless it's jamming into your bone, stop fixing it. Because you're going to ruin your denture. And I don't want to see you be like, crap. That chick was right. Yes, I was. And I do these videos to help you guys because I was those people. So I, I try to help you guys. It's like, you know when like your parents, which will be listening to their parents, let's be real. But you know when your parents tell you not to do something, but then you're like, I'm going to touch it. 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 Stop doing that. You touch it, you ruin it. And you don't have a smile. People are like, oh, Heather, your dentures are so natural. These are immediate denture. Immediate. And my dentist, and I went to a dentist, not a prosthodontist, not an oral surgeon, my dentist who is amazing. I love you, Dr. Ponzi. I love you. Um, he's incredible. Like, honestly, I don't know what I would have done without him. And he takes Medicaid, and we all know people who are on Medicaid right now, 
It's not easy to find somebody to take Medicaid. And they treat you like you're secondhand, and it sucks. But Dr. Bonzi, there's no other dentist in my area that takes it but him, unless I want to drive an hour and a half. And I was blessed because he's not far from my house. He's like a 10-minute walk. Oh, maybe 15 because I gotta go past the hospital on your donuts. But maybe 15. I'm a walker, so I'm all good with that. But he's amazing. And he didn't, all I did was pick the shade. We matched it to my skin tone, and we matched it to my teeth that I already have, my little eight teeth I got left. Okay. I baby these babies. They are my hero. I'm definitely afraid to get um, bottom full denture because I've heard too many horror stories. I don't know one person that says, my bottom denture is ethically awesome. Lies. Lies. Because there's no suction, guys. Okay. Oh, I got to do a video on that. When people want to horseshoe their dentures and they're not snap-ons. First of all, don't horseshoe your denture unless it's a snap-on or you're screwing the bitch in. See? Could not curse. I get what works out. But seriously, don't. Because then it's just floating just like these are. If you have a problem with your bottoms, bro, why the hell are you doing it to your tops? Then they're just going to fall down. There's nothing that's fl not floating. It's just going to come right down. The palette gives you the suction cup feeling, especially if you have, um, I prefer to tell people to get denture fit in their permanent denture phase because it is $50, um, but it lasts so long. It's amazing. When I get my permanent dentures, um, because I'm not even going to bother doing it now, but when I get my permanent dentures soon, um, I will do that full on with you guys, show you how it's done. I want to do it so bad. Everybody I know swears by it and loves it. And it suctions. Like, like I tell you guys all the time, that suction cup thingy that goes to your windows, like all the old school people back in the day, yeah, I used to hang decorations on the window. Those suction cup things, same concept, guys. It's silicone, and that's what makes the product amazing. They even have a payment thing that every three months they send it to you, and you just pay $10 or $15 a month, um, which is epic. I'll take that, which that's what I'm going to sign myself up to. So, like, I think September I'm going to sign up, and I'm going to start just getting it every three months because... I'm going to do that. Um, but if you over adjust your dentures, you're going to make it too big. And once they're too big, they're not usable. Like if, if you mess up and you do too much, like I tell people, if it's embedded into your bone, because that happens to me, if it's embedded into your bone, take care of it. Of course, get it adjusted. You can even take your own nail file and file it down. You don't need no Dremel. Go check out my video on how to do adjustment without a Dremel. Please, Psh. Please, I do my own damn adjustments. What am I supposed to do in quarantine? Take out my teeth and wait for the dentist to open? No, I'm good. I want to wear these babies. So I did. And easy peasy, one, two, three. So many people told me they love that video. And I'm glad I, somebody watched. Because I figured it'd be like, you know, this woman's crazy. What the hell is this with quarantine and people just doing shit on their own? Like people cutting their own hair. First of all, I am a hairdresser. <laughs> but, um... I would not, I only cut the ends off, but it did nothing to do with the, the freaking topic. Sorry, drift, ADHD. But you guys need to understand that over adjust. Take care of the bones, yes. Also, the frailum was a major issue with me because as things shrink, it gets pushed up, right? You're gonna have to constantly do adjustments up here, even if you wanna take a little bit more off than just comfortable, because by next week, it'll fit perfectly. Um, and that's all gravy. But the frenulum is the worst. If I tell you guys, I want a frenulectomy. I want to get rid of that thing. Sorry, I'm nasally. Um, I have really bad allergies right now. Um, tree pollen was crazy, and I went kayaking. Again, I'll show you a picture. But, oh my god, it's so swollen, guys. So swollen. But, yeah, I'm so I'm nasally. But the frenulum, I got to get that out. I'm going to talk to him about it when I see him. I see him 10 days. I go see him to get my um, permanent dentures impressions done. Good times. If anybody knows about those impressions, whoever did immediate dentures, it feels like your whole face is coming with it. Taste doesn't bother me. I didn't taste anything. But I'm not even playing, guys. Like, <laughs> felt like he was taking my, he was like holding my head and trying to get it out. I'm like, well, that's good suction. But, um, please, guys, like your frenulum, take care of that. Because I got more mouth sores on my frenulum than I did anywhere else in my mouth. I'm not even playing with you. And I showed you on my video, too, on how to take care of that as well. It's, it literally takes three seconds, guys. Um, it's so simple. It really is. But the frenulum was my biggest issue out of my dentures. And I swear to you on everything, that was the biggest problem. My, my frenulum is low. And I, you know, when I first got this done, I knew my frenulum was going to be a problem. And I mentioned it to the dentist, and he goes, you might need a frenulectomy. He goes, because some people don't have theirs as high. And he goes, I don't know what's going to happen with you, but he goes, but if you don't want that Uzi of my denture, he still likes to come out, even if I barely put any, 
or you know you don't want liquids to go through which I don't drink like that people be drinking and, and then it goes up and over I don't drink like that why would I do that I didn't even do that when I had my teeth um but yeah don't don't over adjust guys please 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 sorry I make my videos long but you know I'm informational and if I'm not entertaining, you can make fun of me. So at least the video is a total bonus. <laughs> but if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, if you have questions about adjustments um, or anything like that, I don't know everything. But if I can answer something that helped for me, make sure I'll help you. Um, my email is always in the description below. Don't hesitate to email me. You need a friend. You need somebody to talk to or whatever the case may be. I'm here, guys. That's why I made this channel is to help everybody go through this. Because even I go through stuff. I'm only six months in, guys. I'm still in the ish part of my journey. <laughs> I always call it ish. Ish. Because I'm on the beginning and I'm not a veteran. I'm just like, eh. So, I'm also going to ask my dentist about filming my impressions so you guys could see my face fall off. <laughs> and he's pretty cool. I want you guys to meet him because he's such a sweet guy. I love that man. Um, but he's so busy, so I don't know if he's going to be able to because he's so busy, so busy, he's so busy, but I hope you guys have a great day. God bless guys. Stay safe. And thank you guys for watching my videos and supporting me. That's why I do my giveaways. Um, and I know not many people do videos and giveaways, um, unless they're sponsored. I'm not sponsored at all and I'm not rich at all, but I get sales like when they're buy one, get one 50% off or buy one, get one free or whatever, or even half off. So I pick them up then so I can share it with you guys. So don't forget the June giveaway is now done. I will be starting my July giveaway in probably a couple of days. I hope you guys have a great night. God bless. Stay safe. Later all.